Do you know what I hate more than lima beans on toast? Groomers and people who defend grooming. And you guys are probably wondering, hey Lemon, where did this come from? So let me explain. I was scrolling Twitter, as I usually do, trying to find videos of really stupid people doing stupid things, uh, you know, so you guys can get some content. And I found this video of a PNG tuber uh, called Sabersspark, and which was posted by another user, Ouija. And the context is this dude is just PNG tuber Nutaku, and he'll I'll just start to show the video. But for me, for some reason, I can really go for a cheeseburger right about now, with a side of breeding too. Obviously, when you see the video, it's nothing more than just a cringe saying. It's just really fucking stupid to say. And, well, you know, I thought of nothing of it as much, but I decided to scroll down to see what this uh, person decided to say to see if they were a hater or, you know, if there was uh, any other juice. And I found this by, you know, Ouija saying, everyone saying, this is out of context. I don't know what to tell you. This is still weird. I don't know what context would suddenly make it not weird. All he does after saying this is go, oh gosh, guys, I don't know why I said that. I guess I'm a little strange. Oh gee, uh, I'm gross for saying that. And then this person posted a, another tweet below that states, and I quote, also genuinely not a fan of a guy who defends his buddy when they turn out to be a groomer and harass the victim's fathers about it after they voiced their concerns on the situation. And then I decide to, you know, read these four section of posts. And I'm like, okay, what the fuck did I get myself into? So let's read it together. Saberspark posted this, which was screenshotted by the person. I rarely get involved in these things, but if my reputation is worth anything, which is usually not on YouTube at all, then I'll use it to say the following. It was all on the level. You're right, Claire had a crush on Gabe, but Gabe never reciprocated until she was around 20 or so. It's weird, but it was still legal. It's still fucking, you know, weird to, you know, talk to still underage girls. Unless she was, you know, 18, which wouldn't, this wouldn't be an issue to begin with. So I don't know where you're getting off saying that, which is where this has come down to is like, okay, so you're telling me if, you know, just a random man started talking to a 15 year old girl just because she had a crush on him, it, it wouldn't have been weird. Even if the man waited until she was 20. No, it's still fucking weird. You shouldn't be talking to an underage girl to begin with. Let's look at the next tweet. It's a terrible situation full of bad faith. Actors who are claiming to know the truth to answer your question. No, I do not support groomers. Sexual assault is something that unfortunately me and my family know all too well and I'd sooner die than to defend someone guilty of that. It feels like a knife in my gut knowing my personal history and I choose to keep that private. But then to see people claim such slanderous things about me because they are working off of misinformation, but hey, that's the internet for you. It rarely has the full story. That was a situation of quite, but thankfully he was uh, vindicated. I can only hope for the same for Claire, but that isn't for me to decide. Um, you know, it is true uh, that the internet is full of misinformation, but you do also need to post your information on the side. Unfortunately, the, the abuser here is Claire's father, which makes no sense when you have a older man talking to a underage girl. Uh, and he's done a magnificent job controlling the narrative as the perceived victim. Ever heard of Janet McCurdy's and her book, I'm Glad My Mom Died? No. Uh, this story is the perfect example of how much abuse child actors face from their parents and how well the parents hide said abuse. Ian shoved his daughter into Hollywood. Ian was one of the who put her into the world, and Claire is no exception, sadly, of her father ruining her life. It's not my place to reveal the details of the abuse, since Claire desperately wants to move on and keep her life private, but her father is evil, like genuinely evil. Claire's dad went ballistic after Claire's, as an adult, was finally able to escape his clutches. God, the retaliation he launched on her, it was bad. She also reconnected with Gabe well into her adulthood and her father used Gabe as a scapegoat. Ian has some nerves to destroy his daughter's life and blame someone else on the damage, but the guy is just master of propaganda. And the last tweet 
You're a miserable human, Ian, and I'm glad she has escaped the clutches of your despair, unwarranted pride, and self-loathing. Here are the happy futures she can forge without you. You know, I'm not entirely into the PNG tuber space, but I will say if this is true and the father is entirely at fault, then, you know, you can call me, you know, a mouse because I was wrong. In my opinion, you still shouldn't be talking to someone of under age as an adult to begin with, even if it's as a friend, quote unquote. It doesn't matter. But in the end, this is just a speculation of the whole scenario. So I'd like to have your guys' thoughts uh, in the comments. And if you guys could like and subscribe as well, that'd be grateful. See you guys tomorrow.